Hey everyone, how are you all doing? My name is Deborah. <gasps> it has started! Okay, one minute, 56 seconds. We're counting down. <gasps> but I literally just came back from like um, a Bible study and I'm like, ah, perfect time for Blackpink! <laughs> so I've been sitting down here for the past 30 minutes, literally waiting and watching like the preview before this. So I'm really, really excited. We're all waiting together. <laughs> It'd be so dope if they were playing like a black pink, black pink song, like prior to the release, instead of just the countdown with this like regular song in the background. But maybe it's a song from the album, and I just, just don't know. Album, get it? I feel like that's the perfect name for this album, like naming it the album. It's kind of how like Big Bang's album is called Mid and I'm freaked out about that. I really like that the name of this album is THE album, like it's literally THE album and it's literally gonna slit us off so I'm really really excited about that so just putting that out there. But anyways, on a different note, this is the only one whose favorite song of this album is different from the other three. The other three love Lossy Girls. So I'm kind of interested to hear how Lossy Girls sounds and then how Lisa's favorite song also sounds. So I'm excited about that. I'm not going to do an album first listen today. You're probably going to get that tomorrow <laughs> or this weekend if um, I have time. But I am excited about this bra. 16, 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, you're going too fast, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, 
Casado for. <gasps> okay, I really, really like this song. It's interesting though. YG normally does most Western geared feel songs and stuff. But I feel like this song is even more westernized than you'd normally get from YG. Like, it feels like I can hear, um, um, what's his name? What's his name? Oh gosh, that DJ. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> I, I'll write his name down below and stuff. But it feels like I can hear him, like, create this song and stuff. And so it just keeps playing in my head. Even the chain smokers, I can literally hear the chain smokers creating music like this and stuff. And I can hear it in English in my head. Does that make sense? So it feels even more westernized than you'd normally get from like YG and YG like I said is already westernized but I think what is really unique about this song or what I really like about this song is regardless of how westernized it sounds in terms of like oh my gosh it reminds me so much of something from a western artist but it has that K-pop vibe in it because remember I told you that it reminds me of something I'd hear twice sing like it's so cheerful it's just so cheerful and colorish and poppyish and all just kind of like twice and all oh my god let's have a blast we're always happy <laughs> and stuff and yet it also has that sadness just like a hint of sadness to make it pop and stuff added in it so i really 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 do like the song it is definitely different from the other songs i know some people would be like I, well, what i mean by the other songs because the albums i know a lot of people say oh my gosh blackpink makes the same song every time if you listen to the album they actually do have different songs all your songs don't sound the same i feel like people just literally listen to that one title song that has an envy and come to a conclusion but even then like stay it's such a totally different song from like let's say for example as if it's your last but what i'm trying to say basically <laughs> is um if you're one of those people that don't actually listen to your albums and you just like listen to certain singles that you feel sound alike then this might sound different to you because it doesn't sound like those songs that you're used to like the as if you're last and the um uh, what's it called bombayas of this world and stuff it has more of a stay vibe but stay was definitely more mellow and stuff and definitely different but it does remind me of stay which is maybe why i love it so much just because i really do love stay so much but anyways i definitely definitely love this song they all look so good they were all slay my existence and stuff they all slay they all look so gorgeous and precious and stuff i definitely definitely enjoy this the vocals i love how much jisoo shine in this bra jisoo was shining so much and this is not even funny and we have to give props to rose for her acting at the end that was really like that was the part that i really felt like emotionally like the sadness that I was talking about in 28, that was the part that I really, really felt that with Rose's part. And it was just like literally the end, those few seconds and minutes and stuff. So girlfriend did a great job. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and keep being the awesome, beautiful people you are. From me to you all, love for you all. Stay awesome.